Hello, sports lovers. Welcome to the most authoritative boxing channel here on social media. I'm Med. In today's episode, I shall be addressing the rumors that Tyson the Gypsy King Fury has been dropped in sparring by Jay Opetaya, former IBF cruiserweight champion of the world. So, if you want to know my take on this, please do me a favor by watching the full length of this video and also subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon besides the subscribe button. Also, express your views in the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up and also share with friends and family. Now, straight to my opinion. On, I First of all, I think that as the old adage goes, things that happen in sparring must stay in sparring. That means that sparring uh, workouts are not meant for public con consumption. That is why they are done behind closed doors. Sometimes we often take sparring um, rumors very, very seriously. We all heard some rumors that Dalian, the body snatcher, White, saying that he beat or dropped Tyson Fury several times in sparring. But when they really matched up in the ring, he was nowhere close a competitive fight for Tyson, the Gypsy King Fury. When you are in sparring, someone may be working on a left hook and you may be an all-right, an all-round fighter, right? Let's say Tyson Fury, he may have sparred Moses Otoa for, let's say, four rounds. Then Jay Opataya comes in and continues for another five rounds. So the, the energy level of Jay Opataya may be higher than that of Tyson Fury as at the time they are competing because Tyson Fury may have done four rounds earlier and his energy level had come down. So there are so many dynamics when it comes to sparring. That is why we don't take it so sacrosanct as sparring because you don't really know the dynamics. Someone may be working on a job whilst you are coming full full force so there are so many variations in sparring and until you know the the truth or the whole context of the sparring you can't give it so much credence but here we go in today's boxing boxers love to talk about their sparring such uh, success especially martin bacoli he is the heavyweight champion when it comes to sparring because he has given anthony joshua lots of problem he has stopped Alexander the Cat who said to the body inspiring. He has also stopped Daniel Dubois inspiring. He has beaten so many people inspiring, but yet he hasn't competed for a world title fight. I don't think that he is much talented and he is a top guy in the heavyweight division that is going to give so many people a problem. But inspiring, he is very, very, very successful. This was the same guy that was beaten by uh, Michael the Bounty Hunter. When it came to a real fight, but in sparring, he has had a lot of success. Though sparring gives you a measure of where you are. Sparring is preparation. Sparring is prepping. Sparring is meant for you to correct your wrongs. But one thing that got me scared about this sparring is that it's Tyson Fury losing his punch resistance. And if it's that, then that is quite dangerous because in sparring, you wear bigger gloves and you have a headgear on. And if Jay Opotaya is dropping you with bigger gloves and a headgear, if it happens to be true, then that means that Tyson's Fury's punch resistance is on the decline. And it's only a matter of time in which he gets hit and he's unable to get up from that sparring session. But all the same, I think that Tyson Fury needs to prepare hard, work hard, correct all the wrongs, in order to make the Usyk fight very, very competitive because Alexander Usyk is a master tactician, a skillful boxer, and very and, and has great boxing IQ. What the difference between uh, Jay Opotaya and Alexander the Cat Usyk is the aggressiveness of Jay Opotaya. Jay Opotaya is a decent boxer, he has decent boxing IQ, but he is very, very, very ferocious. He doesn't take anything to chance when, when, when it comes to fight. And Joe Potaya has left the camp of Tyson Fury because it is rumored that he has given Tyson Fury a tough time in sparring. If he has given Tyson Fury a tough time in sparring, why don't you keep him in order for, for you to be able to correct all your mistakes with Joe Potaya so that when you get into the ring, you are very, very confident against Alexander Usek. Though Jay Opotaya does not match the, le the skill level of Alexander Usek, but Jay Opotaya has returned to Australia 
to continue with his sparring session himself because he is fighting Braders himself and in the in, in the fight which is going to be a tough fight Braders hasn't fought since he lost to Jay Opotai himself I think that this will be a much easier win for Jay Opotai himself let me not digress but talking about the sparring I think that Tyson Fury must take this sparring section seriously as the fight is getting closer we have just about uh 20 days to the fight because today is the 27th and the fight is on the 17th of uh, february so tyson fury has 20 days or less to to sharpen his tools and be more aggressive and more dynamic in his approach against alexander Usek. if he's not a dynamic and aggressive against alexander Usek, i don't see him winning the fight because Usek is an all-rounded boxer he is very skilled and his skill is on the level of the likes of Muhammad Ali, Floyd Manny Mayweather, Ray Jr. So you could see that this guy is a purely skillful boxer. And skills plays the bill. And I often go with the more skillful boxer. But that is not my prediction yet. Watch out for my prediction on the 5th of February uh next month as i give you my total breakdown and prediction of the tyson fury versus alexander Usyk. but to me this is just a sparring section if tyson fury has something wrong during his preparation he needs to correct it now before it gets too late it could also be that tyson the gypsy king fury is leaking this information to the press in order to give alexander the cat Usyk's team false hope with all everything about this Tyson Fury camp has been negative. His dad is not impressed with the training team he has put out because I think that his dad is is embittered and he wants to take over the training of Tyson Fury. But I don't think that John has the know-how or has the experience to take over from Sugar at this level of boxing. He he even struggled to give Tommy Fury the right instructions against KSI and Jake Paul. So I think that John Fury must support his son wholeheartedly and correct him when he's wrong, but not come to the media to criticize Tyson the Gypsy King Fury. All the same, I think that if it truly happened in sparring, Tyson Fury must sharpen his tools in sparring and be ready for a very, very tough night on the 17th where after 24 years both uh the, we would have an undisputed heavyweight champion of the world thank you for watching if you have still not subscribed till this point please hit the subscribe button press the bell icon express your views in the comment section and share this particular video with friends and family remember your greatness has no limits thank you